In area hospital leaders this afternoon addressing bed capacity concerns ahead of the winter months. This also amid sharply rising cases of RSV, flu, and COVID. But the threat of a triple demic, they say, is not the reason beds are full, but rather nursing home availability. Isabel Garcia joins us in studio now with the message leaders are hoping to communicate. Isabel? Yes, good afternoon to both of you. Leaders wanted to make clear they do not blame the nursing homes. As with the hospitals themselves, nursing homes are facing staffing shortages and their own challenges. There are plans in place to help address some of these concerns in the months ahead, but officials are asking for the public's help to focus once again on our own individual health. By law, hospitals cannot release nursing home patients unless they have a nursing home bed to go to. Unfortunately, our hospitals are having increasing difficulty finding open nursing home beds. Leaders from Monroe County Public Health and Area Hospital Systems are addressing growing concerns surrounding hospital bed capacity, especially with rising cases of RSV, flu, and COVID. Hospital facilities currently have a large number of patients admitted, medically stable, no longer in need of a hospital, but do still need additional nursing care. An example, this time two years ago, Strong Memorial Hospital was caring for about 20 to 25 patients awaiting nursing home placement, which is considered standard. Last year at this time, we were up to about 50 patients in the hospital waiting for nursing home placement. This month, the average number of patients waiting for nursing home placement at Strong alone is 100 patients. And at Highland, it, on any given day, it's over 30 patients. Officials recognize emergency rooms have also been overcrowded as of late and are encouraging the public to evaluate their symptoms to be clear about what they are experiencing. Also encouraged utilizing telehealth, urgent care, and primary care practices if medically possible first. The crowding of emergency departments um, at time can be uh, related to the back of, of the backup of patients within our hospitals who are awaiting discharge. But other times it can be related to patients who um, are seeking care, but actually don't need full emergency level services. Long-term plans are underway to help address these issues, including a recent grant of $13 million from the county to our hospital systems. Some of these grant funds will go towards helping to train certified nursing assistants to staff in nursing homes, other of these funds will go to actually support the nursing homes who take these difficult patients. Once again, leaders emphasizing no one will be turned away from an emergency department. They do still have rooms available. Right now, they are asking for the public's help to maintain best health practices, such as staying home when you or your children are sick, getting vaccinated for the flu and COVID if you're eligible, wearing a mask, and regularly hand washing. Back to you at the desk. Isabel, thank you. Leaders also tell us they are working with the State Health Department, which will be launching a task force from our community to address and deal with this issue.